In a four-count amended charge put before the Federal High Court Lagos, five persons were listed as defendants. In the first count, three Guineans, Muribin, Mohammed and Sediti, all having the same son named Berete, were charged alongside another Guinean, Traore Yakubu, and a Nigerian, Isaka Musa, with the exportation of 196 sacks of pangolin scales, one sack of pangolin claws, and 29 sacks of elephant tusk, which they had prepared for exportation. Two of the defendants were said to be at large, and three of them, a Nigerian and two Guineans, were present in court for their arraignment. The prosecutor, Smart Akonde, told the judge that the defendants who lived in the Lekiaja area of Lagos were arrested on July 28, 2021, with the wildlife animals classified as endangered species and attempting to export the items valued at 22.3 billion naira out of the country without lawful authority. The charge was read to the defendants through an interpreter and they all pleaded not guilty. The prosecutor then asked the court to adjourn for trial. But counsel to the defendants, Olayin Kalawal, told the court that he had a pending bail application which was ripe for hearing. The prosecution disagreed and submitted that having been filed before arraignment, the application could not be said to be ripe. We can oppose bail even when it's um, a bailable offence. If there are circumstances to show that the defendant may not be attending the court or might escape from the hands of the law. Nigerian jump bill, we have seen it all over the places. Nigerians. So their, their right to bail is fundamental, it's constitution, constitutional. In his ruling, Justice Tijani Ringim agreed with the prosecution and granted a short adjournment for the necessary papers to be filed and served. He then adjourned to September 1 for the hearing of the bail applications, while also ordering that the defendants continue to be remanded in the custody of the Nigerian Customs Service. Shola Sheyeli, Channels Television News.